Okay, good morning, guys. So what I'm doing today, the video that I'm making today, is not in any canning book, guys. Um, there's thousands of us like what I'm going to do today. If you don't like the recanning, you don't you don't have to leave a comment because I know there's a lot of people that do the poo poo on the recanning. I recan fruit, nacho cheese, cranberry sauce, and barbecue sauce. Maybe a couple others. I never recan meat. I don't recan vegetables. Um, only like these. So this is apricot halves. I got these at Grocery Outlet. This is a number 10 can, guys. 99 cents. I got three number 10 cans. So if you guys know how expensive apricots are, yeah. Okay, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm not suggesting you go out and, and do this. This is something that I do in my home. I've been doing it many years. Um, if you want to try it, hey, more power to you. There is even a Facebook page on recanning. So this is kind of hard for me because I broke my wrist. Um, so let me see here if I can get this done. Boy, boy. If you're asking how I broke my wrist, um, you know we've been clearing for, February will be a year we've been trying to clear out here. I was putting a limb into our commercial chipper. I did not know there was a log in there about 15 inches long and about four inches around. As I was putting the limb in, the chipper shot that log out and it went directly on my wrist, right where you take your pulse. It took me to the ground immediately. Immediately I was on the ground. So I, I just, I can't do it anymore out here. I just, I just can't do all that hard work. So they said it should be okay in about two weeks. It's a hairline fracture, like I said, right at where you take your pulse. Um, I go back next week for more x-rays. My fingers are totally fine, it's just the wrist. So, uh, oh, I should have had hubby come open this can. Okay, almost, almost done, almost done. Sorry, guys. Okay, so what I do is when I open the can, I use the same juice that's in this can, okay? Look at those gorgeous apricots. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what I do is I just pour it in. Here's my strainer. So I get the juice into here, because I, I use that same juice. Now it takes 25 minutes for pints for apricots. These are not smushy at all. Yes, when you recan, let's say fruit, when you recan fruit, you will notice there is a little bit more softness to the fruit. I don't care. I, I don't care about that. Um, D grocery outlet even had a number 10 can of chili, which was just meat, no beans at all. I won't recan that. I'm not that brave. I won't recan it. So let me see if I can get, oh gosh, let me see if I can get that in here without making a huge, well, you know what? I'm going to use my ladle. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my ladle here. I just don't have the strength to pick that can up. Okay. So I just let it drain out. There's a lot of stems on those apricots. That's weird. And you hot bath. You only recan, I mean, I only recan stuff that has to be hot bath. You could recan salsa, you can recan jalapenos, um, ketchup. Okay, so set 
this here. This is light enough for me to pick up now. There we go. Okay? So that's the number 10 can. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting them in my jar. Now, when you recan fruit, it's already soft. So you want to make sure not to pack it in too tight because you want to get that, you don't want it to be so tight that it doesn't recan properly. So I, I loosely recan the fruit, uh, the fruit cocktail, all that stuff. I don't pack it in, okay? I mean, if you want to pack it in there, it's going to be too dense and it's not going to be, it, I don't think it'll be safe because it needs to be having some space in there to breathe. Now, like I said, there is a page on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook anymore. There is a page on Facebook of recanning. I'm going to take some of that out because that is a little thick. Okay, there we go. Okay, now a lot of people say once you open a sealed can, that's going to put bacteria into that food. It's the same bacteria as when you were cutting it up to put it in the jar. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm going to sneeze, and I don't want to do it on video. Okay, so out of one number 10 can, I'm going to get five pints of apricots. Now, the reason I don't care if these apricots are soft or softer is because I usually make an upside down cake with them. Or I usually open them up and I puree them at, for a smoothie or something. So it doesn't, they don't have to be, they don't have to be hard, you know, like when you can them from home. Okay, so that's that. Okay. Now there's the juice. So I'm just going to pour it over. You see that? Now you can pack that in there. You know, if you were doing this, if these were fresh apricots, you could pack those in there. But since they've already been canned once, I'm not going to pack them down because, like I said, the, it, it makes them too dense. So I'm going to pour the juice in. And this is a um, light syrup that was on the can. I think it said light. Yes. Okay. Light syrup, which we like. When I normally can my fruit, I usually do a light, a light simple syrup. Okay. Now, if I have any juice left over, I put it in a container and I put it in the freezer. They're wonderful when you add it to a smoothie. We go through a lot of smoothies, guys. Okay. Okay, so now, let's set this up here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my wooden knife and I'm going to debubble, just, just move it gently around, okay? Get all the air bubbles out. That way it gives it more space for the juice. There we go, okay? There we go. There we go, that worked out well. Okay, so out of one number 10 can, you get five pints. Okay, so I'm going to wipe off the rim because there is stickiness on the rim. If there's anything on the rim of the jar, it won't seal properly. So I'm going to wipe off the rim. I'm going to put the seals and the rings on. And then I'm going to start them. I'm going to put them in my hot bath. Once it gets to a boil, I'm going to start the timer, and it's going to go for 25 minutes, okay? So like I said, if you don't approve of recanning certain items, you know, sorry, this video is not for you. Um, but trust me, there are thousands of us out there, and there's many pages to show you how to do it properly. So 
the fruit, yes, the fruit will be a little bit more softer because you're water bathing it for 25 more minutes, besides already the time that they've had. So anyway, also another thing you can do, if you don't want to re-can it, you can open up the can and you can put it in containers. I buy these containers off of Amazon and it's a huge box and they're many different sizes. So you can open up your number 10 can of fruit and put in these and freeze them with the juice. When you freeze it, you wanna make sure it goes under this line because as it freezes, it will build up. So if you don't wanna recan it, but you cannot eat a whole number 10 can at one or two sittings, freezing it is another wonderful idea. Now I've also taken a number 10 can and I've drained it and I then turned around and dehydrated the fruit and it makes a wonderful fruit leather. So just because it's a number 10 can, you know, you don't mean you have to eat it all at one time. Now, in when I order from Augustin Farms and things like that, the number 10 cans come with a plastic cover, a plastic, you know, a plastic top. You can save that top and use it for your number 10 cans when you open it up if you don't want to recan it if you don't want to freeze it, if you don't want to dehydrate it. So there's lots of things you can do with a number 10 can of food because I'm seeing these number 10 cans in phenomenal prices. I mean, absolutely off the chart prices. They have these number 10 cans at Grocery Outlet for 99 cents. Right next to them, they had a small can for $1.49. What the heck? That's a no-brainer. I'm going to get the Okay, so I have the um, seals and the rings on. I wiped off the top rim of the jars, and now they're going to be going into the hot bath for 25 minutes, and I'll be back when they're done. Okay, so the apricots are done. I marked the top. I also put on there they were from a number 10 can. So if you don't feel comfortable recanning a number 10 can, you can freeze them, which I'm doing here. Mark what it is. And I also freeze the leftover juice. You can add those to breads and cakes, something for moisture, and there's already sugar in the juice. It gives it a good flavor. I mark what it is when I got it, and it was just the juice. So if you don't feel comfortable recanning, there's multiple ways you can use that fruit. Also, you can dehydrate it. Drain it and dehydrate it. So there you go. That's what I do.